Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTubes. This is Busby Rock 30, and this is GTA Online, Road to 100, Episode Numero Uno. And who not to play with in this special occasion then with Caster87, Missy Uber, and the crew. That's why right, we're back, this time in tanks, because that's how we roll. Literally, like we're rolling right now, blowing shit up. Because we can't do this in the city, and if we did, we wouldn't give a damn because it's GTA. Of course we're not gonna give a damn. We kill anyone that gets our way. But then again, it's all about having fun. But aside from that for just a moment, the Road to 100 series that I'm starting up and trying to, you know, get out there for anyone who's basically interested. Otherwise, you know, I would still be doing it, no matter what the cost. It won't be an everyday series, probably, because, you know, I have a lot of content so far, and I want to try to get that content up, and show each and every way how GTA Online is a perfect online game, and better than its predecessor, GTA 4. Now, a lot of people are going to disagree with me about GTA Online being the best online game experience there is, and that I can agree with because there are other online games, you know, ranging from shooters, stealth games like, I don't know, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, now it's a problem I bring those two in the mix right now because people are going to be comparisons, and honestly I don't want any comparisons brought between in the videos I make, unless you're trolling of course, then I'll just troll on with you, but anywho, work to 100 series. I want to make it as best as I can, show every detail and aspect of it, ranging from gang attacks, to crate drops, to jobs that are given, and I do have a couple jobs, fun jobs in fact, that you might like, though the videos are a bit long, you probably have to cut them down some so you won't get bored out of your mind and try to make them short and sweet. A couple of death matches, team death matches that I did with a couple of people, randoms, friends, and all the good stuff. And lately, I haven't been able to get on the deathmatch because of servers, I believe. I think it might be because of me, because of my connection. But then again, other people do might have the same connection as me, meaning that, you know, things are bound to happen and all that good stuff. But, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about right now because I do have a lot of stuff that I want you guys to look at. And per take it from me, everything that this game has to offer, it's fun. Hell, they made tennis look fun. And I don't even play tennis in real life. Well, there were a couple of times, but then again, I did suck at it. Not the very athletic kind of person you thought I would be. I mean, with deep voice and all, you think I'd be in football. And I did try for football. Let's just say it didn't go so well. Oh! Middle school memories. But anywho, anywho, aside from that, let's get on with the match. Now, as you see, we are taking it up in the hills. Now, I believe this match is called Forced Fire. Because obviously we can't raise hell in the city. But then again, as I said, we wouldn't give a damn if we did. And as you can see, I'm getting pwned. Like, I don't know. I don't even have a good comeback of saying it. I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it alone. But anywho, yeah. See, every time I try to talk stuff, I end up getting killed. And yeah, that's basically karma smacking me in the face and call me its bitch and all that good stuff. I don't know why I say it's all that good stuff. Ugh! But anywho, this is just um, one of the special maps that Rockstar has created. And it's fun, it really is. And if you play it with your friends, it's going to be an even better experience. Because right now, we're just committing suicides on ourselves, blowing each other up, and you know, just having fun. And I don't know what that kill was about. Did he commit suicide? Did she commit suicide? Damn it. Ugh. Can't tell the names, can't tell the differences. That's because I'm recording from a small screen. And I did actually look at the gameplay before I recorded up. And, you know, uh, short term memory. Can't remember who killed me or what killed me. But there will be some instances where I can actually pinpoint who I'm going after and who's trying to kill me. Losing streak. And this is one of the best things I like. I believe they got this from Balgay Tony with the streaks and whatnot. Except in Balgay Tony, you only got streaks when you're doing very good. But then again, it's like you gain armor and health because of it. In this, you get like 
boost in damage, probably health protection. Losing streaks let you use quad damage and stuff like that, just in case you're having a bad time. And that's something they should have put in there a long time ago. Or what? A game without streaks, well, then again, I can't say a game without streaks is bad. But then again, a game without streaks isn't fun as well, in my opinion. But then again, you can disagree with me or agree with me. Let me know in the comment section below, and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Direct message me. Come at me, bro. But anywho, it's fun. This is really fun. And I don't know how many times I can say it, because, you know, just look at it. We're up here in its terrain just blowing shit up out of proportion. And trust me, there's going to be a lot more explosives in my other vids, especially one that I already edited and have finished called Aircraft Failures. If you don't know what that one is, then um, trust me, you'll see it later. And a lot of people have been complaining about not flying good because, you know, Rockstar wanted to make GTA 5 look as realistic as possible as well as fun. But, yeah, people have been having trouble with flying. Um, there is flying school in GTA 5. But apparently, even though I did all of them, it still didn't help me in much situations because, yeah, I suck that bad. Literally, I might need some help. You guys are probably going to teach me the ways and the arts of flying. Because, ugh, all that stuff. But, anywho. I just wanted to say that this is a fun experience for me and my friends to have fun with. And um, this commentary is only about 6 minutes and I have a 10 minute video, but I'm going to make it do what it do. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos. But um, anyway, I got to run and try to edit some other stuff. Love you all. Peace out and bye.